Okay, so the, the second thing we're going to do uh, in this setup is we are going to go through um, and do some very basic configuration uh, of the basic things that, that you do to get the system set up and going. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to set up the IP address pool for the management uh, addresses of the system. And that's, that's very, very important, is we are going to create a block of IP addresses. And these are used primarily for the KVM access to the box. Um, basically, uh, the remote management of each individual blade is going to take an address um, from this pool and so that you can KVM to each individual blade. So what we're going to do in our case is do 10.93.233.134, and uh, we're going to use a size of, of 6. Uh, I have 6 blades in my lab, um, so I'm going to use 6. Not to say that you can't have a ton more. Uh, a couple of things that are important to, to note uh, about this setup is that um, the, the IP addresses that you choose have to be on the same subnet or the same VLAN as the out-of-band management connections that you use to set up the system. So if you look down here, there's 10.93.233.131. And then here is 134. It just so happens that the, the addresses I'm using are pretty close. But it's important when you set up UCS that you, you acknowledge the fact that you have an out-of-band management network um, that has enough IP addresses in it uh, to do what you want to do. This is all part of the, of the prep uh, before you go and, and set up a system. It's very important to understand that the, the prep is the most important piece because at the end of the day, do, clicking through the interface to set up the basic pieces takes... 10-15 minutes, but it's the prep um, that's, that really determines your success. Um, so I, I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, most of the trouble that we get into in installations is because the, the people who are setting up the system just haven't prepared correctly and they don't have what they need uh, right when they start. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create this block of addresses. And one of the things that you're going to see right away is that um, in a few minutes or so, uh, the assigned to uh, will actually get uh, get placed in here. Um, there you go. So they're, they're starting to fill in already. I have five blades actually in the system right now. Uh, I have six total. One is not inserted in the chassis right now. Um, so you can see I've, I've got a bunch of different um, uh, blades in the, in the system. Uh, and they're all getting an IP address for, for management purposes.